How's it going? My name is Roy. What are we talking about? Um, <laughs> the Space Shuttle Challenger. Um, so, for me, the first question, what could NASA have done differently? Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things. After reading the, the, the paper, the first, some of the stuff I started writing down before I got down to the bottom of it was, um, <laughs> one thing that was definitely had to been uh, done better was check the little things. Hmm. It sounds like Roger, I'm not going to say his last name, um, had definitely gone over prior to the launch that the O-rings would have definitely caused a, a catastrophe um, among the space shuttle and that lives would be lost. And as a result, he was so very correct. And so I think NASA could have definitely have <coughs> um, just listened. As you continue to read, it talks about how <laughs> they ignored the managers, they ignored the engineers, they kind of did what they wanted. So in my head, it's like, they probably have the pressure of launching the spaceship and getting up there, as well as not trying to be a disappointment to those that were watching and that had big hopes for what was going to come of it. And so, um, yeah, I would have I would listen to the engineers because they clearly know best <laughs> engineers for a reason. Um, I would change the O rings or made the O rings more <coughs> uh, sustainable to. Um, different temperatures it dropped below negative 18 um celsius so i mean it's pretty cold pretty cold if you had to ask me so that's one of the things i would have done differently and then um <coughs> i would just listen to my engineers it definitely took um a lot of guts to say no and not listen to them and go behind their backs and not listen to all the protocols and the safety measures of what was needed in order to make sure the rock ship was going to fully lift off to its bit. I mean, to its fullest potential. Um, <laughs> and then I think regardless of finding a new job, if you was fired, um, still, you, you still got to do what you got to do. I mean, you knew what was going to happen. You knew how it was about to go down and, what it's going to come from. And so it's like, you didn't do your job. You just didn't help. You just didn't continue to do what you were being paid to do. And therefore we saw what happened. Loss of some lives. Um, what do you soon see as a future engineering professional responsibilities in relation to both being loyal to management? <laughs> Dang. Um, that's tough because that's the rock ships. That's real tough. Um, but if I had to keep in mind, it would definitely be, I'd be loyal to a fault. If it came down to something like this, I would have to be truthful simply because it, it lies at danger. And if you didn't step up and say something, who knows if the next time this happens that you do the same thing or something like that recurs again. So it's like coming down to you have to trust and hope that if you do get fired or if you don't, that you'll keep your job or that you'll be able to continue to get hired somewhere else knowing that you did your best and um, you continue to just... Um, continue to just work and do what you need to do. So being loyal to the public and to those that come and question you or are asking for um, your honest opinion because <laughs> clearly if you would have been honest with yourself, this probably could have been prevented. Yes, it would have taken a little bit longer, but it could have been prevented and you could have continued on with the mission just at a later date.